Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for tech. Last time I flashed with the Lineage OS 19.1, and I am using that from the last few days. It has been at least two weeks. No Awaken OS update we've seen, but finally on 6 May 2022, we got the big update of Awaken OS 2.7 Class Zero version. Today in this video, we will see what new features has been added in this new update, which bugs fixed by the team, and the performance stability of the ROM. At the last, I will tell you one important bug or you may call it as a device specific issue and one important notification about the update, so watch the video till the end. If you are already on the Awaken OS, you can get the update notification within the OT updater in the system. You can download and flash the ROM from there. But here, I will do the clean flash over TWRP, so download the ROM, remove the pins and the password in the security settings and boot your phone in a TWRP using the advanced reboot menu. So all the things are done here, now without further ado, let's get started for the installation and detailed review of the ROM. On the new adventure. After booting to the TWRP first flash the Awaken OS 2.7 file. Once the flashing gets complete, now go to the advanced and tap flash current TWRP. Now boot back to the TWRP recovery again. Now go to the wipe and do the format data. If it gets failed, go to the settings and check mark the RMRF setting and again do the format data. But remember, now again boot to the TWRP and repeat the format process once all the things done, reboot to the system. So I am seeing this amazing boot animation of Awaken OS after 3 weeks. Once phone set it up, we will check the about phone section. This is the old Android 12.1 aka 12L with the same Mr. egg of Android 12. So here we got the newest Awaken OS 2.7 also called as Glacier version. So security patch has been updated to latest 5th May 2022. This is the first ROM which has this latest security patch. The biggest upgrade of this new update is the kernel. It's old kernel 4.9.227. But completely rebased now, synchronized with the Oxygen OS 11.1, .1, merge with the latest 12 cap, GPU drivers in the kernel. Drivers of the DC dimming mode has been updated from the OnePlus DC dimming mode. Overall, this new kernel will improve the performance with the good battery life. Say Linux is the enforcing and this build was created on 6 May 2022. Now let's check what are the new features has been added in this update. If you go to the app lock setting in the security part of the main setting of the phone, now we are able to lock the system apps of the phone. Like here I lock the Chrome, Gmail, which are the system apps by default in the ROM. Similarly, we can hide the system apps in the app drawer by using the app hide setting available inside the settings and under the display tab. But once you check mark the hide apps, you need to force close the pixel launcher under the apps to make the changes available. Inside the display tab and under the display customization, now the new tab has been available by using this, we can hide the mic and the camera privacy indicators, which pops up in the status bar whenever any app uses the mic or the camera. If you go to the auto rotation setting of the device, now we guess the rotation modes like the 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees. Under the system and the gesture, now we get the volume cursor control, by using that we can use the volume keys to move the cursor between typed words, which is very cool feature. In the security setting, if you try to set the pattern lock, now we get the bunch of the pattern modes like the 3x3, 4x4, 5x5 and the last 6x6. So we can set the most difficult pattern locks on the device or can create the signature pattern like here I created our own channel for you tech pattern. That seems cool. In the display customization tab and under the status bar icons, we get the three different tabs for the call strength, mute and the vibrate icons. By using this, we can enable or disable these icons in the status bar as shown in the video. Another new feature is whatever Bluetooth device you connect to the phone, we can able to fetch the battery percentage of that device. But it seems buggy, I can't able to fetch the battery percentage of phones connected to the Bluetooth. Now ROM has the new theme icons under the styles and the wallpaper tab which are stunning and feels like HD icons. So these are all the new features add on in the ROM. Now let's check what has been fixed in the ROM. In the old update we can't able to record the calls but it has been fixed now. We can record the audio in the calls and that recording is accessible in the call log. 
there you can hear the recording and can delete them also they fix as a search bar issue when you enable the dark mode still the void search bar is visible on the home screen but it's fixed now search bar also getting the dark theme whenever we enable or disable the dark mode some icon shapes has been fixed like the clock icon round shape and in the app drawer some icon default round shape was missing which was fixed in the new update so we discussed all the things now let's check the stability and the performance of the new update first we will see the geekbench test in this test i got the low score like for the single core i got the 496 which is okay but for multi core it's very low 1893 this may be due to the slight heating of the phone so what this is happening i will tell you at the end now we'll see the gpu test with the open gel drivers and these results are above the average score so rom is good for the gaming as i already told in lots of the videos geekbench or any other performance checking apps are not the best for the day-to-day -day usability of the phone similarly rom is working smooth no major performance drop you can find anywhere in the device even after the low results next is the safety net rom is passing the safety net as usual but the drm info showing the security level of l3 so still there is no hd content for the amazon prime and netflix like applications so here comes the stability check for the cpu using the cpu throttle app but before doing that we will check the cpu temperature using an application from the play store actually i am not using lots of the apps still the cpu temperature rising to 47 to 50 degrees celsius so i started the test and stopped it after the five minutes so this time these are the os result i found on this rom cpu throttle to 77 percent of the maximum performance last time the results were good it's about 83 to 85 percent of cpu throttling that time when i check the cpu temperature after the test it's risen to 57 degrees celsius but the system is cooling down the temperature immediately after the test to the normal temperature so there may be some issues with the kernel governance as i think because there is a lot of the rebates in the kernel code this time all the things in the rom are working like the wafa wafa hotspot bluetooth with the sbc acc and ldac support nfc gps olt networking coming and outgoing calls all things are just perfect no issues at all so where is the problem as i told in the intro i will tell you what is the issue actually it may be device specific for me when i enable the fps overlay in the developer setting it's always showing me the 60 fps every time but the stock one plus setting showing the variable fps as per the uses and this may be the reason for the more heat because i felt even after some small tasks device getting quickly warmer which is the main reason that the temperature of device is staying between 45 to 50 degrees celsius every time without so much use of the phone and which is the main reason for the low geekbench results maybe so don't afraid to these issues one more good news is that developer vikas is updating the rom today itself once i get the new link i will update the link in the video description till then you can flash this update and enjoy the new awaken os so this is all about the new update if you think i helped you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye